Hi there. Today we're solving a coding problem in Haskell, which is a strongly and statically typed general purpose functional programming language. When I saw this problem, I thought it would be a neat one to solve in Haskell, so here we are. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Let's dig into it. So, our problem description is that we need to write a function that takes an array of integers of size n and a number k and compute the maximum values for each k length subarray. Okay. So, we have our constraints here on the value of k, and we have some input and output values uh, to help guide our solution. So, let's start out with writing the type signature for this function, which I'm calling k sub max. So, I don't actually know the name of this problem. So I'm taking some liberties here. And the type signature for this function is that it's going to take our list of integers and it's going to take the value k and it's going to output our, our list of the maximum number from those k length subarrays. So our function has will take in our list. It's gonna take in our value k. We're gonna leave that there. So there is a function called tails which is going to be very instrumental in us solving this problem and it's in the data.list module and I'm going to be using the REPL to kind of guide us through uh, how we're transforming the input array into what our output is. So let's start with this and if we import data.list, then we have access to the tails function. Sweet. So if you look at the inner arrays, you'll notice that they all start off with the values that we're interested in for the k-length subarray. So we can filter this list down to the sublists that are k or more in length. So if we take the length and we say, I'm going to use 3 as a value, the test value here. We'll substitute it with k later on. Say so we, we take the length of the sublist. And then we say, is that length greater than or equal to 3? And now we have, we've removed the single value list, the empty list, and the two value list. And then we are going to want to take the first k elements of these sublists in order to get to the sublists that we're interested in. So if we map over our filtered list, we can take those values. And now we have the sublists that we see in our uh, example explanation. And once we have those, we can map over them yet again and take and get the maximum value. So we actually don't need these parentheses. And so you see we end up with our output value. So if we 
code that up in our, our file over here. We're gonna Ooh. at the max of the sublists once we've taken k we're gonna filter by this predicate which is to check that the length of the lists from tails is greater than or equal to k. And so that is what our solution looks like. Let me just look this over. So we take the tails of the list, we filter that list, the, the, the list down to only include the lists that have length greater than or equal to k. And then we take the first k elements of those inner lists and then we grab the max elements element from that list. All right, and let's load this. Cool, and let's use this sub max, and we have 10, 5, 2, 7, 8, and ooh, and I forgot k, 3. And so we get back our answer. So really this was uh, this was just a demonstration of how we are effectively doing a series of data transformations uh, using functions. Uh, there's an example of composition, functional composition in here where we're composing uh, these these two the length function and the greater than or equal to k function. All right, that's it. Uh, I'll put the link to the code in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And let me know what you think of the solution in the comments or how you would go about solving the problem or how you went about solving the problem. And uh, follow me on Twitter and Medium at O'Neill Harrison if you'd like to see me over on those channels. Until next time, peace.